Well, tubers, taters, tubers, YouTubers, here's the deal. I decided a while ago that if I was going to put up videos that uh, I need to put up the good and the bad and the ugly. And I don't remember what the video was here a while back, but uh, I, I don't know, something wasn't going right or or didn't turn out right or whatever. I don't know what it was. It might have had something to do with this old truck. But it wasn't right or good <laughs> necessarily or whatever. But I go, well, you know, if you're going to post all the fun and things that go on and, and all the things that turn out right, you know, you got to post the things that don't turn out right too. I think it's only fair because that's the real world. Uh, and I remember one thing was when I was making the, the uh, barbed wire rim for that license plate you know I screwed up somehow when I measured it <laughs> when I bent it I mean and it was totally the wrong size and you know but this other thing that I that I mentioned before I don't remember what it was I don't recall but it was just something that didn't turn out right so here's a little thing about this old girl here um, me and a friend are taking this thing for a little cruise tonight so I'm going to get in and clean it up a bit and get some dust off of it. They always collect dust underneath that car cover. But I guess it protects it from the horrible things. But here's a little story about this car and part of the restoration process. Uh, when I was putting that engine together, I rebuilt the engine in this thing. There's the original 327 that came in this car. Original to, to the car. I'm the second owner of this car and all the numbers match up but when I went to restore it uh, I was putting that engine together and a buddy of mine was up here and and he threw the lifters in a bucket of oil and we we're priming the lifters and he was over there pushing them with a push rod and pushing them down and he said Kim one of these lifters doesn't return real quick you know it's a little sticky and now brand new lifters of course and I didn't think much about it I'm not a mechanic you know I mean I started overhauling these old motors actually 283 when I was about 15 16 years old because nobody told me I that I didn't know how to do that so so I just did it and uh, did a few of them back then some of them worked out and some of them didn't overhaul the flathead one time and and got it hot shortly after when it was breaking in and warped ahead and cracked the cracked the block I think I don't know I was so long ago I was about 18 19 when I did that one but so again the good and the bad and the ugly it's all part of my world but I didn't think much about that lifter and when I put this engine together and fired it up and ever since then that's been about three years ago now or so maybe four time gets away but that lifter has haunted me ever since that day ever since the first day I fired this thing up that bugger has haunted me and it chatters and it quietens down but when you first start it tick 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 and uh, it's just really irritating because I should have paid attention to what he was telling me but you know, he didn't think that much about it either. I guess we just thought it would loosen up, or that's what I thought. We didn't talk much about it, I don't think. But I just, my thought was, ah, it'll loosen up. You know, they're just brand new lifters. and Well, it does loosen up, or builds up pressure, I guess, is what the issue is. It doesn't uh, have enough pressure when you first start it. So, when it builds up pressure, it quietens right down. But <laughs> still, to this day, it irritates me. And... Um, Ain't nothing but a thing, but I'm going to start it up and see if you can hear that lifter chatter. And uh, it will quieten down, but we'll see. See if you can hear it. Tick, 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 tick. I hear it. Okay, it's almost gone already. still hear it just a little bit but anyway that's just something to think about if you're putting together an engine you know like I said I'm not a mechanic 
Uh, I just uh, don't claim to be a mechanic at all, but I just have messed with these old rigs all my life and always liked tinkering around with them. So that's a little lesson I learned. I just thought I'd pass that along. Uh, you guys out there that know what you're doing, you'd, you'd know right away not to uh, use a lifter like that, but I didn't know any better. I just thought it'd work itself out and it didn't. But I'm gonna live with it. <laughs> I guess it's just, it's part of the part of the character of the old girl or the nature of the beast, whichever way you want to look at it. But I'm not gonna tear it apart just because it's got a little chatter when it first starts up because it does quieten right down and it runs quite well, uh, extremely well, extraordinarily well. That little 327 just wants to get out there and run. Um, those were a good engine in my opinion, two, 327 and 283. Most guys from my era will tell you that's the best best engine Chevrolet ever made, but I'm happy with it. You know, if this car was a 409 four-speed, it'd be worth about uh, 15 grand more than it is, but I don't care about that. This is a, just my car. I had one when I was in high school. I always wanted another. I was finally able to get one. I'm glad I bought it 15 years ago uh, when uh, the price was right. Because now I probably wouldn't be able to afford it, or, or at least I wouldn't be able to justify paying what, what they bring. So anyway, that's the story of the, the loud lifter. I'll shut up now and get on about my business. Get it inside and get it cleaned up a little bit. Thanks for watching.